Halloween! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Juno Mobrook here, and today I have a really, really fun video for you guys. I made a Stardew Valley Halloween special, and I made it with a bunch of really cool Halloween spooky mods, which I will link all of them below if you want to try them. And I also pulled some pranks on some villagers. My barn animals have something weird about them. And I got to meet a really cool witch, and you'll get to see that. Also, I dressed my pets up in adorable costumes, so stay tuned for all of that. And I think we should just jump right into the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I made a wilderness farm and named my character Winnie after, of course, Hocus Pocus. What is this music? I need to cut it. There we go. We need a spooky vibe on this farm. You know what I mean? So look at all of my buildings. They are a gothic, witchy vibe. And here I am switching my outfit into a witch costume with floating candles. I thought this was a super cute costume for my farm. Do you really think I'm going to do all this labor as a witch? No, I'm just gonna transition to my beautiful farm with all of my beautiful buildings and here's my coop with all of my coop animals here's is my barn I have the spooky barn animals and they are just super cool and pretty hollow and see-through here is my shed which I will be decorating a lot later on. Then I got Binks, my lovely little kitty, also named after Hocus Pocus. Then I, of course I went to Piers and I bought some haunted crops. So these are the spooky crops and I just bought a little bit of all of them to grow for you guys and show you guys what they look like. My personal favorite was the jack-o'-lantern seeds. So I went in my greenhouse and I just snapped my fingers and planted all of these crops and spooky trees. But then I went to the railroad and I heard a really creepy laugh. And it was Electo. She is the witch, the wizard's ex-wife. And she is so funny and kind of mean but really cool and I just want to be her best friend, of course. But yeah, it was really fun meeting Electo, and I will be showing you all of her heart events. And then Mr. Key did a flyby and dropped a bunch of boxes in the valley. And then my broom was there, so I got to ride on my broom everywhere I go, because I'm a witch, duh. And here's my greenhouse, all the crops are growing. Then I decorated my shed, and I really love how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think. I am using the automate mod, so that's how I can have all of these things next to each other. But yeah, I just went crazy with jack-o'-lanterns and it was super fun and I love how they light up at night. I went to the witch's hut, which I met the goblin. He is super nice, kind of lonely, but really, really friendly. Then I went and talked to Electo, my almost new best friend, and I talked to her crow pets as well. I noticed every time you go talk to Electo, she drops some tea on a villager, like today she's talking about Emily. So that was really interesting. And then I gave her like a ton of wine because she loves wine and just wait till you see what happens later because of that wine. Then I found a star drop and it reminded me of casting spells. Then I just threw this doll in here and this happened. Pretty cool for Halloween, you know, spooky. And then a cat threw a sword at me, but I survived because I'm a witch. The wizard was not too happy about it, but I don't care. Then I caught some void fishies and hung out with my best friend Electo. 
And then guess what? She was over here sobbing outside the wizard's tower because I probably gave her way too much wine earlier, but you know, she was just having a rough day. So being her best friend, I was there to, you know, make her feel better. She was a little sarcastic, but me and the crows came through and she was smiling at the end of it. Come on, Electo, pull yourself together, girl. The crows even agree. It'll be okay, Electo. We don't need no man. Or wizard, for that matter. I went to the mines and saw these little soot sprites that I downloaded a mod for from Studio Ghibli. And then I just decided to throw jack-o'-lanterns all over the town because... I just, I don't know what came over me, but I just went crazy and I put like a hundred in the graveyard. I just, you know, felt like it, so here we go. And then I went to Lewis's house, the mayor, and I dropped these really lovely statues and also like a ton of his creepy underwear in his house. I just thought that would be a funny prank, so you know, I gave him some of his shorts. Then I saw Penny sitting over here so innocently, so I decided to just block her path and see what happens. She didn't move for hours, so then I was like, maybe I should break one, and she started walking. So then I tried to block her whole way home and just watch her destroy these jack lanterns for my own entertainment, so. This is quality content, you guys. No, Penny, don't do it! Don't do it! Aw, oh, she did it. Oh well. Then I went and hung out with my bestie, Electo, and gave her some more wine. And her crows, Kevin and Titania. Here's my greenhouse, looking so beautiful. And then I had this cutscene with the wizard and the witch. Why am I getting myself in the middle of this drama? Then I went back to the witch's hut. And I got another cutscene with her. As you can see, she's super delightful. Just me getting in the middle of some drama. And then I went to chat with her again, and this time she started talking about Leah. She called her Lulu. And there's Kevin. Then she told me, time to pay back that favor you owe me. Please bring me a prismatic shard. Are you kidding me, Electo? A prismatic shard? Ugh, the things I have to do for my best friend. I guess I'll just go look for one then. After I find this talisman, of course. So I went to the school cavern, no big deal, I was on floor 62, just, you know, mining away for that prismatic shard, because even though I'm a witch, I guess I couldn't just, you know, brew one up for her. Oh, there it is. But you know what? I wanted to find one more, but I couldn't find it. So I went and milked my ghost cows and goats and sheared my ghost sheeps. I went to Electo, and now she's talking about Marnie. But you guys, I mistakenly gave her my prismatic shard at the wrong time. 
So, I was disgusted with myself. So I went and just spawned another one and came back and got this cutscene with Electo. And she's in her little nightdress. And she is just a gem. I love her so much. Now she's talking about youth and beauty, and here I am just being her best friend, providing emotional support, watching her do some crazy stuff with this prismatic shard. So she's actually saying goodbye to her beauty and youth. And she's not green anymore, so... But she still looks good. Right? Comment below if she still looks beautiful. She's also, like, a little bit cheerful? Like, who is this new Electo? I want my old, grumpy Electo best friend back. And I got my Prismatic Shard back, so that was nice. So I took it to the museum, as anyone would. Here I am, decorating my house for Halloween. So here is my spooky witch house. I'll walk you guys through it. I decorated the kitchen with my green cauldron. I'm brewing some potions up in here. And then I have my dining table, my little black cat poster, I have a dark piano, and some trick-or-treat candy on this table with my skeleton. I have a lovely living room with a monster fireplace, a broken TV, and some cool crow paintings on the wall. And I have a candy cone cupcake, and I even have this dark Christmas tree. And I have my witch bed, and my witch poster, and this creepy statue, and my black teddy bear. I also love the flooring with Krobus on there. Here is my other dining room with a little pumpkin spice cake on there. Another skeleton and some creepy posters. Here's my future baby room, I guess. I have some purple Junimos, some creepy posters, and another broken TV. I just thought that room was super adorable. So here I am teaching Binks, my cat, some tricks. So this is another mod I will definitely link below all these mods, but I taught Binks how to follow me. And I really, really enjoy him following me around. I think it's really cool. What witch doesn't have her black cat? You know what I mean? I even tested out his stay command. Like, wait here. And he waited the whole time I circled the bus. I was so proud. I tried to give him another treat, but it would only let me give him one per day. So, sorry, Binks. Then at the fair, I decided to put like a bunch of prismatic shards and Lewis's purple shorts because it's funny. And he was like really pissed off at me, but it's okay. It was worth it, you know. I got my 750 tokens and immediately gambled them all. But unfortunately, I lost, so I was really disgusted. So I went to the fishing game and used my witchy powers to get a really high score. And then I went and gambled all of it again, but this time I won. And so I did it again. So then I had plenty of coins to buy everything at the stall, including another star drop. And then I talked to Marnie and she wasn't thrilled. But then I went home and taught Binks how to hunt. And I'll show you guys how he hunts in a minute. But all my crops were done. Look at the jack-o'-lantern plants. They're like pumpkins. And all my crops. And then I put all these scarecrows out because they're really spooky. And I really love them as decorations in my greenhouse. And here are all my beautiful crops. The ghost jellies, the eyeball grapes, the trick-or-treat candies. And then I just put them all in my shed to become products, you know, to sell, make that money collected all of my ghost truffles and milked all of my ghost cows and goats. 
and picked up all these eggs I had been abandoning for days on end. Went back here and put all of them in their machines to get money making. I took Beings to go hunting for his first time and he was having a little bit of trouble with this frost jelly so I just ended up helping him out. But he really got the hang of hunting after this first try. Just wait and see. There he goes. Oh, thanks, you did it. Thank you. He attacks all of these slimes and bugs and insects. He is just the best little hunter. But then we got swarmed by these bugs. Like, swarmed. And I had to help him out a little bit, but he was still doing his best. You know, he'd just been hunting for like one day, so he'll get better. I hung out with my best friend Electo and her crow was stuck in a Dorito bag or a Joja chip bag. Super funny little crow there. And then the most adorable cutscene ever was Jazz and Vincent trick-or-treating and they were dressed up as Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service and Tombo from Kiki's Delivery Service and I was jaw to the floor because I love that movie. You guys should know I have a cat named Gigi and I made a whole video being Kiki in Stardew. So go watch that, I'll link it below. But I was super excited to see this cutscene. It is from a mod, but it is super worth it. It happens on a random day during fall. And here I am just passing out treats to them and Penny was dressed as a Sono. So I really, 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 really enjoyed this mod when it happened on day 20 for me. Then I also decided to test out what would happen if I played a trick on them. So I played a trick on them and it didn't really go well. They really were upset and hid behind Penny and Penny was upset and it wasn't as wholesome as giving them treats. So here are all my little artisan goods that I made and here I am watering a bunch of new pet bowls because I'm about to go buy five more pets because just wait I put them in Halloween costumes and they're super cute I have a skeleton dog a ghost dog a black cat named Gigi obviously a pumpkin kitty and a wizard cat and they are the coolest pets ever for Halloween but yeah I just really was obsessed with them and just love them so much I was laughing so hard because the pumpkin cat kept getting scared and jumping and it was just hilarious just watch see that and here she goes again scared again she is a faint-hearted kitty for Halloween and then of course I went to the Spirits Eve festival I waved hi to my skeleton friends and then I went straight through the maze and just stopped to talk to these lost villagers along the way. Poor Harvey, staring at the corner. This festival was made for me. I went up here and just thought, how adorable is this little cabin? Like, can I just move in right now? Because it is super cute. And said hello to Penny. I saw this really cool TV. Where can I buy one of those? Joja Mart, Pierre's, you guys selling this really cool TV? And here's Alex, trying to be a little detective. And here's Abigail. Spiders, how can you not love spiders? I have like a thousand pet spiders at home. Then I found Sam over here, and he, he was just so close, but you know, so far from that golden pumpkin. I hate to break it to you, Sam, but I'm just gonna walk on back here, you know, nothing to see here. Definitely don't follow me, Sam. See the wizard and Linus up there, they be having a great time. And what do you know, I found a golden pumpkin. Woohoo! But instead of walking all the way back like I have done, I recently have learned this trick of warping straight back to the beginning. 
So now you know, if you didn't know, I've been playing this game for years, and I recently learned that. But this is the end of the video, so let me know if you guys liked this video. I really had so much fun, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys!